Hello, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you a couple PowerPoint tips that'll keep your PowerPoint file size down so you can email it and share it. So I have a presentation here and I only have a total of seven slides. So if I go to the word file, it's 30.5 MB. And the reason it's so large is I'm gonna go to slide two. I'm gonna click that video and hit the delete key. I'm going to hit save again and hit file again. Now look at the file size. The file size is only 20.3. So the first point that I want to make is all the files for my presentation are over there to the right on my screen. So if you drag and drop a video into PowerPoint, you, know, you don't have to have internet access to play this video. That's the good news. The bad news is the three videos that I have in here are all, are all under two and a half minutes. So when I hit save, the word file again, look, I'm back to 30 meg. So that is not good. You can only email out 25 meg. So here's, this is what I recommend. I'm going to get rid of this video. And I would get rid of all the videos that I dragged and dropped. I'm going to go to insert video, online video, PowerPoint will either pull from your OneDrive account and make a link, YouTube, or you can embed code. I'm going to pull from YouTube. I have a Word doc, I have a Word video about creating odd and even headers and footers. I'm going to put that in here. And I'll show you a trick real quick. I'm going to go ahead and resize the video. Now, it's got the black borders around it because it's a fairly old video. So I'm just going to simply use the crop tool up here. Get rid of that border. Pull the bottom one up. Click outside and there I go. My video, my video is now linked to YouTube. So now... I do need an internet connection when I'm in slideshow to view it. But let me just get rid of that one because it's from my hard drive and that one. So I would do the same steps for slides three and four. Save, file. We're still at five meg. The reason is when you put pictures in a PowerPoint and I love having pictures in my PowerPoint, the problem is when you put pictures in, they're usually between 4 meg to 8 meg. So watch this little test. I'm going to click the insert tab and I'm going to make a photo album real quick. File disk. I'm pulling from this folder over here to the right. Control A, insert, create. This is the one time making a photo album that you don't go to File New in PowerPoint. You just go to Insert Photo Album. And you can see how large these pictures are because it's taken a second to make this. And when it creates a photo album, it puts one picture on every slide automatically, which is a cool trick. I'm going to save this presentation because right now it's called Presentation 2. When I click file, I have six slides, but it's 10 meg. So once again, if I had 30 or 40 pictures to put in my PowerPoint, again, I can't share it. So what I recommend you do is open up the folder that has your really large images in it, 77 meg. Open up any picture. I've shown this before, I believe. This is one of my fra favorite free programs to use. Give me just one second to resize here. So, now we're back. Okay, I don't care what picture you open up, Earth and View, go to File, Batch Conversion Rename, add all the pictures. It knows what folder that one image came from. 
batch conversion, make sure it's checked. Advanced, click it once. Width, 1500 is a good width, hit OK. Look in current directory, click it. Type the word smaller and then click start batch. And Irfan View is running through and resizing every picture in that folder. Now if you recall, exit, close. There are the original pictures at 77.5. Open up that folder you created. One meg. Isn't that amazing? So these are the images I would insert into my PowerPoint presentation. So that is how you can take a PowerPoint. So the two, two things are just link to your YouTube videos or embed the code instead of actually putting them from your hard drive and make sure you resize your pictures before you even put them in PowerPoint using Earth and View. One last thing to tell you, if I have to do a presentation, the one drawback about linking to YouTube is you're afraid, what if I don't have an internet connection? I agree that's true, but rarely would you not have one, but to be safe, I usually have two PowerPoints. The one that's on my laptop that has the videos from my hard drive, and then the exact same presentation that actually has a link to the YouTube. That way, Obviously, you want to share your PowerPoint, so I can share it with the links to YouTube, but in case I'm somewhere and they don't have Wi-Fi and I can't get my hotspot to work, you can always run the PowerPoint from your hard drive. Thank you.